Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my good friend Alicia and today we created this look which was inspired by uh, my favorite makeup artist Patrick Ta on Olivia Munn and as you can see it's just focusing on a really pink flush cheek um, with a red lip and then I also added just a soft eye with some gloss to the lids. So if you want to see how I created this look exactly, keep watching. Okay, first for skin prep, we're going in with my moisturizer and today I'm using Mario Batiscu, um, his oil-free moisturizer and just really rubbing that and massaging that into her skin first. She mentioned that she's really dry right now, which is normal in the winter, so I am using Rose Oil Blend by Pixie Cosmetics, uh, Pixie by Petra actually. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just pushing that into the skin before I go in with my foundation. For the foundation, I am going to mix a couple shades. I'm using right here the Vanish Foundation Stick by Hourglass in shade Buff. And then going in with a lighter shade of the HD Ultra um, Foundation by Makeup Forever and just lighting, lightening that up. Also adding these Glow Drops by L'Oreal. Um, I forget what the shade. I'll put all. I'll put everything below. Don't worry. But I'm just kind of making a little concoction on her skin. You can do this also on a tray and mix it together and then add it. I'm just going and applying it to the skin and then I'll just buff it all together. Either way, it comes out the same. Here I am stippling on some Liquid Glow by e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm using a stippling brush by Real Techniques and just um, pushing that onto the high points of the face where I want to be highlighted. And then on top of that to add some more intense glow, I am using the same drops I used in her foundation application and just putting that at the high points of the cheekbones just to really make that pop. Now I'm going to conceal the redness around her eyes and underneath her eyes. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in shade Fair Neutral and I'm just pushing this into the skin with my fingers just to kind of warm up the product. I'm not trying to use a lot. I'm just really focusing on putting a little amount of product on first and then building it up where I need it because this is a full coverage concealer and this look I'm going for is more natural and glowy and skin like so I'm just being careful to add product and not pile a bunch on it first. Then I'm going to lightly set underneath the eyes with the airspun powder from the drugstore and just underneath the eyes and anywhere she gets oily just a very very light dusting. Now on to my favorite part, um, the highlight. So I am using Master Chrome by Maybelline and I'm putting that on my brush and spritzing it a little bit with Glow Mist by Pixie or any spray that you have, any water, and just popping that on top of that cream highlight that I already put down and it just creates the prettiest pop of glow, so natural. These Maybelline Chrome things, oh, they're really good, like they're really good and super cheap and affordable, so I definitely recommend them. This is in the shade, um, what shade is this? This is Molten Rose Gold. I have the rose gold and the other just regular gold, and they're both just a very, very pretty highlight. All right, now we're gonna warm up the skin with a bronzer, and yes, it smells good. I guess good, I don't know. It smells like the beach, but it kind of smells like sunscreen. I don't know, it's not bad. I don't mind it. But it's not my favorite scent, but I, I can deal. So, other than the fact that it does have a scent, it is really pretty and it goes on super smooth. So this is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, which is another drugstore product. Um, and I'm just pushing that into the skin where you need warmth. So the top of the forehead, top of the, top of the cheeks, and just adding some warmth and dimension to the face. All right, y'all, you ready for the start of the show? this cream blush. Wait for it. Ah! It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But this is um, a Tom Ford blush and it's in shade Pink Sand. 
It's a cream blush that I'm stippling on with a Real Techniques stipple brush and I'm just pushing that over a large surface of her cheeks all the way up her cheekbones as well and then even onto her forehead. A cream blush is going to create the most skin-like finish and so I like to put this on before I put any powders over top of it. Um, you could just put this cream blush on and just be done, which is, would be perfectly fine. But I'm going to add another powder blush over top just to intensify that color even more. Okay, now on to the eyes. I am concealing the eyes with the same Shape Tape concealer just to get rid of any discoloration. I'll blend that out pop a little bit of a powder on and go right in with my first shade, which is the butter bronzer that I used on her face. So I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just push that into the crease, blending back and forth and then all over the lid until I like the color and then also make sure there is absolutely no harsh edges. If I see a harsh ledge, I will go crazy. So blend. I think that's why it takes me so long to do faces sometimes because I am so obsessed with making sure every single thing is blended. Like every step I blend, whether it's the face or the eye, you know, that's how I need to improve. I just need to not be obsessed and blend after every step. Some steps, obviously you need to be careful in blending. Yeah, I get it, but not after every step. Like that's a little bit obsessive. So I just had a revelation, guys. Thanks. All right, y'all, sorry for rambling. Back to what I was actually doing, which is telling you what I'm doing on her face. So on the outer corner, I'm just adding a darker shadow, which is Latte by Makeup Geek. And with the same fluffy brush, I'm just lightly dusting that on the outer edges of the eye, just to add a little bit more dimension. And then with a smaller brush, I'm just taking all of those shades that we used on the top and really buffing that in underneath the eye all the way across. For brows, I am using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in medium ash and medium brown. Of course, you cannot get away from Anastasia products. And I'm using the brush number 20 by Anastasia and just filling in any sparse areas. Um, she has uh, this unkept brow that, as y'all know if you watch my videos, I'm obsessed with. So I'm just kind of filling in the areas, getting that shape, but leaving that beautiful unkept feel. I already curled the lashes, now I'm adding some mascara. This is by Buxom Cosmetics and it's called Big Tees. And so I'm just coating that a couple times. Not a lot because I am going in with some lashes. I'm using lashes by Kiss, which are really pretty. They're super fluffy and feminine and I thought it would go perfect with this look. Okay, so now I'm ready to add the gloss. Um, I'm using a Vaseline, just a simple Vaseline. Um, I know there's gloss products, but Vaseline works just as good because y'all, this look I am obsessed with and I think it's so pretty, it's so in right now, but it's not a look that's meant to go out and last. This is more for like photography, video, stuff like that. So it's more aesthetically pleasing, but yeah, this is the first time I've tried it on a client and little tidbit, do not apply the gloss before you apply the lashes because the lashes will not stick. Um, so yeah, you live and you learn. All right, time for the red lip. Before anything, I'm going in with a translucent powder and this is gonna ensure any red that I put on is not gonna bleed onto her skin. So that's a little tip if you're ever putting a dark or bold color on your lips. Just put a translucent powder first and it will help, I promise. And then the lip liner I'm using is shade Click by ColourPop and just placing that, creating the shape that I want. And then over top, I'm using the shade number seven from the Anastasia Lip Palette. And just a fun fact for y'all, I do not like doing lips. It's just a step that is not my favorite. I, I can't avoid it, I just don't like it. Probably because I'm not the best at it, but hey, bear with me y'all.
And then last step, using my Pixie Glow Mist, just spraying that face, adding a little bit more fresh glow. And that is the look. I love it. I hope you like it. Um, subscribe, like, comment below. You know the deal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.